What's going on guys? Jumping right into the video. As I mentioned, this is going to be a 3 inch build. Uh, this is something I've wanted to do for a while now. Um, something that I was really setting my hearts on uh, designing and building my own. Um, so where we, uh, where we wound up was really trying to pick out some of the best components for a nice three inch that can get good distance and great video. So starting off with the frame, we have the three inch by uh, Impulse RC. This is the uh, Alien Reverb. I really like this frame. This is a very, very durable frame. As you can see, I can barely bend it. Um, one thing I don't like about this frame is it came with these tools right here and these are like you know little grinding tools I was like oh that's that's cool don't know why they'd include those um and about an hour to an hour and a half later I was like you know I really wish they didn't give those and I really wish they did some of the work because once I take all these plates off see these little silver rings right here Okay, these actually have grooves set all around the side of them to grab the carbon. And when you get it, it doesn't actually fit in there. You actually have to use these tools to grind it out. And that took a while to do because you don't want to go too heavy and use like a tool like a Dremel or anything and then basically grind it too short where uh, where the threads on this bolt won't be able to grab on the other side. You don't want to do that. So unfortunately that did take a long time, but once I did get the frame together, uh, I think it absolutely looks beautiful. Uh, it feels great. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, the, the arms are all separate. They're sandwiched in between two plates, but if you can tell this bottom plate where the camera comes in this stops right here right at the back arms and then the plate that's above it sandwiching the other side the top side plate is actually this bottom piece so when you actually measure the standoffs as well like the uh The standoffs in the back come in right around 19 millimeters, almost 20. The standoffs in the front, let's see if we can squeeze it right next to the camera. Yeah, and I already put some stuff in. I've been uh, pretty anxious about this build. Um, 23. So. You do have a little bit of a space to kind of work with. You got a little bit more space in the front than you do in the back. Um, we're gonna see how that pretty much works out because all of the uh, the rest of the components going in this, uh, as you can see, I'm not gonna have a lot of space with the uh, the Cadex board in there. Plus, I do plan on putting in a full size receiver so I can get maximum distance. Um, now moving on to the uh, the flight controller and the 4-on-1 stack is uh, going to be in just a second. The rest of this here, obviously we have the, uh, the Cadex Turtle V2. I already have the special lens on there. That's definitely my favorite. HJLRC flame motors. These are the uh, 1407-3600 KV motors. Uh, I did get them in purple. These are the 224. 4S version. I was going to get the 6S version, but I don't really have any 6S batteries, so that was kind of pointless for me. Flight stack. Right here, this is the iFlight Success Mini F4 V2, and I did not really want to review this product. I don't feel, um, I don't feel as though it needs to be reviewed. Uh, 
but one thing about it, like, that is skeptic, skeptical to me, uh, right here, as you can see, 2 to 4 S FC ESC fly tower system. I didn't buy 2 to 4 S. I bought 2 to 6 S. Um, so unfortunately, if I did plan on using this uh, with a 6S, that would probably not work. Um, and I did plan on testing this inside my 5-inch with a uh, with a 4S, and I was going to get a 6S to try out, so that way I could take out all these, uh, these ESCs and really save some weight on that. But that will not be happening, so this will just strictly be 2 to 4S, and this will be the three inch build um, really kind of sucks I was looking forward to uh, <laughs> to trying out a 6s but uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get in here all right well I I was under the assumption that uh that this was actually going to come pre-built. Apparently it's not. It's not a huge deal, but it's a little bit more work than um, than what I was kind of planning on doing right now. Alright, so there you got What do you got here? Four cables? Five cables? Alright. So we got one right here, which is a, uh, a four pin to a three pin. Looks like a power ground and maybe audio. These are uh, direct solder wires. This is probably the harness I'll be using. Looks like smart audio, video, Maybe, maybe TX, camera control, not too sure, and uh, power and ground. And then these two are probably to connect the 4-in-1 uh, ESC to the flight controller and the flight controller to the VTX. Uh, so now let's take a look at the rest of the stack. they kind of really wish they kind of pre-built it you know because it's kind of kind of just flopping around in there uh, they do give adequate packaging but I mean especially when you have these right here see these little these little pins just when I took it out it was already kind of crooked so you, know, you definitely want to be really really careful about that also, I'm not too sure if I'm going to use this VTX because I don't... No. I probably won't be able to fit that one in there. Either that or we'll have to... Uh, have to maybe try to move the, the CADEX board back or forward. Uh, we'll see if maybe we can squeeze some room in there but all right let's uh let's get this set up and get it in there and then we'll get beta flight running and see what that looks like <laughs> 